Here are 5 tips I wish I knew when I started game development, starting with tip number 1. Join a community. Alright, real talk. If you're learning game development alone, you're basically on hard mode. I used to spend hours stuck on the smallest problems, like days trying to figure out a bug that someone else could have solved in 5 minutes. Why? Because I wasn't in a community. When you join a discord server, a reddit thread, or even a small dev group, suddenly you're not just learning from your own mistakes, you're learning from everyone else's too. It's like crowd surfing experience. You ask a question, get 5 answers, and each one teaches you something new. That kind of knowledge, you won't get it just by watching tutorials. And this is underrated. Seeing other people post their progress, their prototypes, their weird broken mechanics, it keeps you in the game. So if you're not in a community yet, get in one, whether it's Unreal, Unity, Godot, whatever. There are thousands of devs just like you and many of them want to help. Tip number 2. Ego kills growth. What do I mean by that? Thinking you're better than others even just a little will hold you back more than you realize. It makes you ignore advice, reject feedback, and stop improving. The truth is, staying humble and open to learning is how you actually level up. Lose the ego, keep the momentum. Tip number 3. Make friends that have the same goals. You ever try grinding game dev alone for weeks and slowly start questioning every life decision you've ever made? Yeah, same. But here's the fix. Make friends who are on the same path. People who are also trying to build games, improve their skill, and actually finish projects. And this isn't just filled good advice. It's scientifically proven. Studies show that if you surround yourself with people who share your goals, you're way more likely to stay consistent, motivated, and improve faster. Why? Because it creates a feedback loop. You bounce ideas off each other, you share progress, you hold each other accountable, and maybe even build something cool together. And when your motivation dies, because it will, guess who revives it? Your dead friend who just dropped their new game trailer. If you're enjoying the content or want access to the project files from past videos, plus some exclusive bonus content you won't find on YouTube, Check out my Patreon, link in the description. Now let's jump back into the video. Tip number 4. Community Forms Alright, don't scroll past this just because I said forms. Community forms are still one of the best places to get help, learn faster, and actually become a better dev. I used to ignore them completely. I thought, I'll just figure it out, or find a YouTube video. But sometimes YouTube doesn't have the answer. Google? Not helpful. But forms, especially game engine specific ones like Unreal Engine forms, Unity forms, Godot community. They're full of devs who's been exactly where you are and they actually want to help. It's like a searchable brain of every issue that's ever existed. You'll find people solving obscure bugs, tips for optimization, full blown essays explaining mechanics, plus having someone who gets it, the bugs, the burnouts, the late night engine crashes, makes the whole journey feel way less isolating. Tip number 5. Stop depending on tutorials. Yes, you heard me. Here's something I wish I realized earlier. Tutorials are great, but they can only take you so far. At some point, if you want to really improve, you have to stop just following along and start building your own systems. Now what do I mean by that? Think about your favorite games, Dead by Daylight, Among Us, Garani. What do they all have in common? They all have gameplay systems, objectives, mechanics, tools, things the player interacts with to win or survive. So instead of just doing beginner tutorials over and over, start thinking, what systems can I build? Let me show you a few that I've created to push myself. I built a mask that reveals and unlocks hidden areas around the map. I made an advanced flashlight system with in-game animations and timed battery drain. I even created a full RPG system. There's a shop and the AI gives you random amounts of XP. Each shop item costs a specific amount of XP. So there's progression. None of these came from a single tutorial. I had to problem solve, experiment, and piece it all together. And that's where real learning happens. So yeah, watch tutorials, but then take what you've learned and build something original. That's how you really level up that's gonna be it for today's video if you enjoyed don't forget to leave a like and a comment and until then see you in the next one